What is up guys, Plasmus here, and today is episode 2 of my Minecraft multiplayer survival. Um, let's play. So I'm on the server with Pixels right now. He's at his house or something, doing something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this episode I'm going to be building their skeleton XP farm. Um, this is just what we're going to use for the time being until we um, head to the end and build an Enderman one. Um, I've already started a little bit. I've got the basics out, you know. Dug this out. Got the water going. Drop down here. They spawn, drop down here. Go through here. Ride up this water elevator, which I'm actually going to... Put this. Probably really dark for you guys right now. Gonna throw that in there. They ride this water elevator up. Something happened there. I messed up the water there. I'm no big deal. Alright, I'm going to break out of here. What a fail. What a fail. Alright. I need to fix this water real quick. Uh, pick this up. So yeah, I'm just gonna build. It. This is gonna be. I'm probably gonna have a kill switch and an XP farm side. So, whoops. Get some more water. And once I get through, I'll show you guys how all that's done. I'm not too worried about wasting glass. Alright, so... Yeah, as for Sony Vegas, um... Still trying to get quality down. I don't know how first episode quality was. I think it might have been a little odd shaky i'm not really sure how to describe it but yeah i'm trying to get quality down um i just need to learn how to use it apparently let's see where we're at we are here so right here we will have them fall down two blocks it will stand here and that should be far enough away for the spawner to continue to be active. I need to pick these up real quick. Alright, and I will get back to you guys when I finish most of this right here. Alright guys, I am back, and I've dug this out a little bit more. I've put some wood on the floor, and I... Smoothed out the walls with cobblestone and stuff. Haven't done any of this yet. I waited. And I'm trying to get my inventory a little bit less full. Um, I'm going to make two hoppers real quick. I think I need three. I might end up needing three. I'm not too sure. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so what's going to happen is these skeletons are going to funnel their way through here. They're going to fall on top of this hopper. Yeah, I'm going to need three, so let me just make one more. Whoop. Whoops. There we go. And um, they're going to fall on top of these two hoppers. I just realized I'm going to need to make two more of these. No more hoppers, but just two chests. Get rid of that. And their items will go into this chest. Why not? So I need to funnel the hoppers like that so now any item that goes into this hopper will funnel into the chest which is good that's what we want and this is going to be blocked off like this yeah so they're gonna land on top of this they'll land right here I'm gonna block this off too and I'm going to stop this water real quick I'm 
not too sure what's happening there. That's kind of weird. Replace this with cobblestone just to make it look nice. And we're going to have two parts. We're going to have one is a kill switch. That's just going to kill them. And then their drops will fall down here. That kill switch is going to have to be set up uh, up here. Lava will flow four blocks. So put it there. One, two, three, and it'll flow right here. So what I'm going to do next is put this here. Let that come through. Yeah, put it just like that. I need a bucket of lava. I do not have one. So I will be back when I go find a bucket of lava real quick. Yeah. All right, guys, I am back with the bucket of lava. I had to go find one, but I got one. And as I was doing is that lava is going to flow four blocks. So if I put the lava there, it'll go one, two, three, four on top of here. And then when skeletons come down, they will burn in it, stay here, and then their items will fall. The so lava is going to go back there gonna stop blowing right here okay I must have judged that wrong my bad <laughs> all right so uh bring that forward one block Did I count that wrong oh that is four my bad there we go and it's gonna stop blowing right above that sign perfect now we're gonna have two switches we're gonna have like a switch here and a switch here or somewhere along the wall and we're gonna have one being a lava stop that's going to make a piston push this block right here, right there, stop the lava from flowing, and we're also going to have a kill switch, which is going to push two sticky pistons, pushing these to squish the um, skeletons for XP. We need to squish them to put them down to one shot, and then you can just throw a healing potion at them or whatever. So first I'm going to do the lava switch. That's probably going to be easiest. Ouch. I picked the lava up that flow away okay do i have the sticky pistol on me yes i do okay so we're going to lava goes here i'm gonna have a sticky piston right here block's gonna be here sticky piston is going to be here am i correct yes that will work okay now i just need to hook this up wire this up probably do this avoiding the lava Lava's there. One, two. Lava will be right here. I'll just go up and over it. Might as well. Just dig down. Better find a spot for the switches. We will put a switch. Put them on mossy stone. Why not? Yeah, put the switches on mossy stone. What do we have? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So come on. We'll just put the switches like this. Might as well. Okay. I'm gonna make some switches real quick. Levers. I'm not really sure why I call them switches. Two. One here. One here. This one's going to be, let's have this one be the lava stop. I figured that'd be easier. Oops. Lava stop. Stopper? No, 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 stop. Lava stop. That's fine. And this one will be kill switch. Yeah, that's fine. And then this whole wall, you know what? I should uh, put the signs up afterwards. No big deal. I'm just replacing this wall with cobblestone. I'll do the signs later. That's not really a problem. I'll just do it now. Might as well. Lava. switch okay so let's wire up the lava stop hmm this 
was pretty bad placement, but that's okay. Two switches are here. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's there. Um, we'll wire it like this. I might have to end up doing a more compact way later. I have to do it like that. Keep it out of the way of the other redstone wire. And yeah, that should be pretty good. I'm not sure if that's 15. I didn't even count that, but I'm sure it's fine. Whoops, wrong switch. Wow. So that box block pushes out up there. Let's see that real quick. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Did I really throw away my food? Must have. That was kind of stupid. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to put the lava in. Uh, those two. I'm not going to put the lava in yet. I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to put these up. These two sticky pistons along with these two blocks. Let's find where those sticky pistons are. They're both right here. To wire that up. I'm gonna have to. Is that block affected? Yeah, this wiring kind of in the way. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't think that would power both. So, I'm going to put this up here. Power this block. There we go. So now that's set up. Ooh, I'm actually going to invert that real quick. I don't like the way that is. There we go. So that'll crush them. I'm going to have to rewire this. It was just in the way. It's not a big deal, though. Up higher. One higher. Now everything should be fine. Lava stop is working. Kill switch is working. So that's how it's going to work. Um, let me put this here. Shut that off. Lava goes there. Put the lava in. Alright. So that's basically how that's all that's all there is to it really um i guess it's stuck in there from spawn thing so switch does that we're gonna crush them they get hit 19 times they stop it then you hit them in their one shot lava stop press this and it gets shut off that's perfect okay so i'll be back with you guys in a second and i'll show you this in action what is up guys i am back and I actually had to end up going to the nether to get some uh, glowstone for redstone lamps, so um, I'm going to be doing another part to the XP farm, it's the shut off and turn on I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, it's just the light switch that controls the uh, whether the skeletons spawn or not. I got a bunch of dogs by the way, got all their collars, got two cats, and here's the base, Hasn't I haven't done much to it yet, I haven't been working on it. Um, down here is the... Um, Skeleton trap and stuff. I was just going diamond mining and ended up hitting a mine shaft right here. Found my food actually in this chest. I must have dropped it off there. And we're back down to here where the wiring is and everything. So yeah. Um 
I'm going to be making the light switches in the ceiling now. So, you go one. Let's see here. Yeah, that should be fine. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't even have the redstone lamps ready. I don't think I'm going to need seven. But, uh, might as well make them. One there, uh, one there, here, here, and in the dead center. Whoops. Five. That'll light up everything. That'll prevent all those spawning spaces. The skeletons. we just figure out where we're going to put the switch or we're going to wire it i'll do it right here actually that's fine throw those up okay so next we're going to have close stone there i need to make another lever yes i do i do that wrong every time when am i going to learn when am i ever going to learn throw this way light switch okay so let's wire this up real quick it's gonna be real easy why can't I switch this I don't know what's happening this is kind of odd all right well I'll be back in a second once I figure this out guys one second Alright guys, I'm back. I don't really know what happened. That's some weird setting in the game that I have no idea how to use or what it's about. No big deal. I fixed it. Um, Something to do with shift, I guess. I don't know if you guys want to tell me in the comments. That'd be great. No big deal. Alright, so I'm going to wire this up real quick. I'm not too sure how high this ceiling goes up. I guess it's here. Yep. Okay, so let's find where we put the redstone torches. Redstone lamps, I mean. There's one. One is there. That means the next actually has to be in here. Yep, there's the middle. The next one's going to be right there. Right back here and right here. Okay. Let's just put some torches up here. And to wire this up, it's going to be really easy. You just put redstone on top of the lamps. Connect them all up to the center. Just like that. And that might not be long enough. I don't think it will be, actually. We'll see. Nope, we lit all of them up. That's fine. So that does it for that. Now I can go in here, turn these on, actually. Break through here. Get rid of the torches in here. And we can watch this in action. I'm going to have to get rid of this torch, actually little too close so now we watch them spawn in there they ride this elevator you see him riding the elevator he's not riding the elevator man I'm really good at messing up water flows like that so I'll be back again guys once I figure this out this is ridiculous what in the world I don't know what just happened. That was really weird. Um, I guess I won't be back. I just that kind of solved everything. It was a glitch or something. I don't really know, but I'll take it. Is the lava on? It is. No. Stop the lava. Okay. Well, I'm here again, guys. I didn't actually cut the video there. Um, apparently that water was there, but it wasn't at the same time. I don't know. Anyways, the skeletons dropped down into here. 
you turn the switch off and it's far enough away they will keep spawning over and over you need to make sure if you do build this yourself you need to make sure that the um skeletons travel at least i believe it's eight blocks away from the spawner and your player has to be 16 blocks within like a 16 block distance so you can stand here and you see the spawner still active so they'll keep spawning and then they all just stand here now i'm gonna turn this on real quick you have to remember the magic number of 19 I didn't make this automatic. You could set up a redstone timer, but it's a lot of work and it's pretty useless. Yeah, I mean, it's just extremely done, extremely done, easily done manually. So you just got to remember 19. You got to listen for 19 hits and then you stop it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, seven, go. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Now they're all one shot. Um, one punch will kill them. You could punch them, which is that's fine, you know. You can get some decent XP off that. But the main point of this... Oh, yeah, their items go in the hoppers and then funnel into here. But the main point of this is to let them build up. You just turn this on, or turn the lights off, stand here, let this build up. And then you want to get splash potions of healing. Since the skeletons are undead or whatever, healing actually hurts them. Splash potions of damage will heal them. It's kind of messed up. But, yeah, just let them build up. Get, like, a 100 of them in here. Make them all to one shot, then throw a splash potion, get all their XP, and that's about it. So uh, that's how it works. It's pretty simple and easy to build. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. It helps me out. Can't thank you enough. And goodbye. Stay tuned for episode three.